Okay, this is a quick look at this uh, rather unusual e-bike I, I built. It's, it's made from all the bits left over from when I made my other one. Um, so it's like all the collection of failed components. Um, which, I mean, they work, but it's certainly a complicated way of doing things. But anyway, I'll just give you a quick look around. So, up on the handlebars we've got this uh, stop-start switch which I think is for like um, a small motorbike or quad bike or something. You use that to switch off the uh, controller, which is in the, in the battery compartment in the back. Um, and here I've got uh, some strip steel which you've bent around, drilled a hole in, put a toggle switch in, that switches the lights on and off. Um, this is my rather uh, ugly solution for holding the battery for the, for the lights at the moment. Um, so that's a 12 volt. Lithium motorcycle battery, which is probably quite an expensive and silly way of powering your lights, but you know, there you go. Um, so, uh, we've got V brakes, uh, which I had to weld on the mounts on this frame, which again is just like, a complete waste of time, but you know, you just have to try and roll what we've got, I guess. Uh, they're okay, but the uh, mounts are a bit mounted a bit too far out, so you don't, they're not, not set up correctly as such, but they do work quite well. Um, so this is the main weird part, I guess. So this is a, a, a rear wheel, BMX wheel, mounted in front forks. Now, in order to do that, you have to move this drop out here, 10 mil the left or right depending which way you're looking at the bike uh, the right in this case uh, and then you can fit your rear wheel in the front forks then you need to make a mounting bracket here uh, so you have a plate coming out on the side which is just made out of some sort of three four mil steel plate i put this brace in the back um, because it's a little bit bendy forwards and backwards and forwards so that gets rid of that um, and then when you're doing the holes uh, to mount the motor, just once you've drilled them, get a file and, and file them so they're, they're oblong, you know? Mm, what do you call that? Elongated, up and down. And then you can slide the motor up and down uh, to tension the chain. So it's just a normal, normal bicycle chain. This is a MY. 1020Z motor, which you can still got on eBay. I think they're about 50 quid on AliExpress or something. Um, pretty powerful motor. I mean, unrestricted, that will push this bike to sort of 30 miles an hour or something. So, which is way too fast. I had to kind of uh, do things to the throttle to get it back to a legal speed. Uh, but um, yeah. So then uh, I've got some uh, thick cable here for the motor um, which runs back to the controller along here. This is that spiral cable tidy which you can buy for uh, tidying up all the cables that come out of the bottom of your TV and stuff like that. Uh, so this is 25 amp cable I think. So that goes back into here uh, and inside here I've got a pouch with uh, the controller and yeah, I think that's about it. Just the pouch with the controller in it, and then the battery underneath. So this is um, a headway cell, 48 volt, 8 amp hour battery with a um, typical sort of controller. There's only a cheap controller, 15, 30 amp, I think, um, output. Chain's quite long, but you can keep that nice and tight because um, it's only single speed. And uh, yeah, that's about it really. I bought extra long seat post uh, again eBay, so you don't have to be sort of squat down like a normal BMX riding position. You can sit on it almost like a normal bike. It's still a bit low, but uh, does the trick. Um, so that's about it. Lights, 
12 volt light. So this is like, um, you know, light you might put on a trailer or something. Uh, that was really, really cheap. A couple of quid on eBay. And then on the front, um, I've got this sort of 12 volt LED floodlight, which is terrible to be honest. It splashes light all over the place. Uh, it doesn't project the beam very far down the road, but, uh, well, you know, I don't use this bike very much anyway. So, uh, so that's that. That's the that's the bike. Um, I had to just a quick word on the frame. Uh, I had to make this a bit longer because if you have a front wheel bike and with a very short frame and an upright riding position, nearly all the weight is on all the weight is on the back wheel. Back wheel, and when you try and accelerate with the motor, the wheel just spins on the road. So, in order to move the center of gravity forwards a bit, you have to add in a bit at the back. It also allows you to put a battery on the back, uh, which you can also go clip pannier bags on here as well if you want. I've done that before, that works okay. Um, but in moving that bit back, it also stops your foot crashing into the battery if it was mounted on the back. I did have the battery mounted here once, but that got in the way of your knees, but it was an easy option. And if you weren't pedalling, then it wouldn't really matter if it got in the way of the knees anyway. I like to pedal. It's a bike.